Hey Divas, this is Anna coming to you really fast with a couple cards. I just had like mojo I was going to wait, you know, till next week. But, you know, when you feel it, you just really got to go with it. So anyway, I did a couple more cards. And my inspiration comes from um, Card Maker magazine that I get. And um, so I just went through a couple pages, looked at them, and then got my idea from there. did not copy it as it was seen. I just got the idea and went on from there. So these are two cards that I did, 5x5 five five cards. Um, I did them all on craft cardstock. And I used purple. So um, what I did is I layered three times. And, um, okay, so it's craft, um, purple cardstock, cream cardstock, and then right here, you can't even really tell, but it's the um, Botanica by um, Prima. And then right here, I have just lace on this side and lace on this side. I used a Martha Stewart border punch on both sides of the purple cardstock. I used my Tim Holtz um, flower dye. And I don't know if you guys all subscribe to Tim Holtz or not, but you... I don't know why you're not, but you totally should. He gave um, a quick... Um, a tutorial on not just creating the the rosette but you know how it really does impress really hard um, when you run it through so these tend to rip I actually I know how to do it on the scoreboard but I like it this way because it's really precise really crisp and clean cut looking so what you do on the back of this is he had did one with using tissue tape his tissue tape he sells well I'm not gonna waste all that money it's like nine dollars for his tissue tape for it to sit in the back and not be seen so what I did is I used some masking tape just some cheap old dollar masking tape that's like this it works exactly the same way and I lined it in the back of the rosette and then I folded it all the way through so I don't know if you guys knew to do that because that's crazy his tape is beautiful and it shouldn't be sitting in the back of something you'll never see so um, masking tape works perfect and then it comes out perfect. There's no rips or tears. So make sure you do that. Okay. Then this right here is a Martha Stewart punch. It's two flowers that I've layered on top of each other. And then I just put a vintage button here, here, and here. Those are all purchased from Creating is Fun on um, Zibit. And then I just made a banner with the scraps of the cream cardstock. This just says just for you. I felt that was universal because you could do that just because birthday, thank you, it doesn't matter. And then um, this is the inside. I just did a border punch, another one Martha Stewart. I laid some lace and then some flat back pearls. And then that's the purple cardstock. Okay, that that can be written on too. It's light enough where you can write on it. So it's super pretty. I love it. Okay, so that's my 5x5. Five five. I haven't, this is my other 5x5. Five five. Okay, this right here is also using the Botanica Prima. And um, also it's layered on cardstock. I absolutely love that. Because um, I know Arlene from My Butterfly Clisses, she does, um, I think, pretty much all her cards on craft. And I love it because you can use any paper on top of it. But using the craft, just, I don't know. I, I love the look of it. And plus this is heavy. It's like a heavyweight craft. So um, I used... Um, my, um, oh, I forgot what this is called. I used that. <laughs> and I crump my crop, crop. Oh my gosh. That's like so annoying when you know what it is and then you get on camera and you just forget. But you ladies know what I'm talking about. So I used that, the deco side, on all four sides. And then I layered it with cream cardstock and I just used my corner punch. And then I used the Botanica on this also paper and then I used my nest abilities this one and this one here then I used a two inch circle punch for the middle this butterfly I don't even know where it came from it was one of the paper lines I know it's K and Company and um, because what I do is I tend to get these and I just put them all with um, my 3D cra uh, die cut little things like this I put them all in one container and most of them are a can company, so I just don't know which paper line it was. This right here, these are Wild Orchid Craft. 
flowers, but they had yellow little felt in the middle and I popped all of those out. And then I just put some really soft champagne looking blings in the middle. These right here are recollection roses. And then these right here are I am roses, crocheted flowers that I have sitting underneath. I just pulled this rose through that flower. Okay. And then of course I did the same thing, the Just For You stamp. It's a banner. It's only adhered right here. I love it. <laughs> and then that's the inside. And I just have <clears throat> this ribbon right here is meant, or this lace right here is meant for ribbon to travel through in the middle of it. But yeah, didn't do that. Use the flat backs, cover right in the middle. And these are just the scrap pieces from the paper that I used. So this is another 5x5. Five five. So these are my two 5x5s five five and then earlier I showed a video of another one. And that makes it three. I, I'm on a 5x5 five five mojo. I think I'm going to just like go card crazy now. So um, hopefully you guys get mojo and do some cards. And you know what ladies? It's not about, like this right here, it's not about adding a ton of stuff. Layers. That's all it is. That's what makes the card heavy. It makes it just look much more like of an expensive card when you add a ton of layers. Because honestly, it's okay, these three are the real embellishments, or the buttons, and that's it. And some really thin lace, and that's it. And normally I like to go buck wild crazy on embellishments, but I went off of what I saw in the magazine and then just tried to make it soft so it could fit in an envelope. Okay? So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast, and I will be back again really soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye, divas.